great deal. Now, Solkas gonna at least highlight that yes, they're here, but also noting the player in the corner, forcing the dash out from the jet, giving screams more round, round to work with. Artist on the peak back in. Now we have seen some conversions in these rounds, even with just the pistols. Still a lot of hard work in front of the G2 side, though. And Solkas gonna find Pat there. Again, Pat just waiting for a cheeky little kill from the nest. Ooh, nice headshot landed from Zeke, but the Spectre wins that one at range. Cryptix will shut him down as the last man standing is Pit. He's uh, got a turret to deal with here in mid. Again, the kill joy. Scream's made decent progress here. You see Pit has to at least give up that initial space, doesn't want to get overrun, knows that Brave Spectres are out, and that's going to be Soulcast taking territory but not taking the kill. Good angle now. Garnered greatest shot gotten as well. Mixwell's going to feel a little frustrated with that, I'm sure. But Patty Tech, the backbone here, keeping things at least somewhat even as we do and still need time for the rotations. Keep in mind, Ardis and Zeke are not here just yet. It actually did a little bit of damage on, so I'm not sure who that was on Liquid. Maybe Eccles because he's getting the heal up, but I'm going to come back, play Ooh. the post plant here. Ooh, <laughs> no. There it is. The thing, time now becomes a huge factor for G2 in this retake. Again, they have the Nano Swarm. That's going to buy up five seconds apiece on that. You see now the push coming through from Yellow. They need to shut down this post plant. The trades come through. Let's see. Two apiece here, and Zeke's going to find another here. Eccles has got to swing out, but the spikes actually being defused that entire time, so... Maybe a little bit of over-reliance there on the uh, threat up close here. The problem is, though, with aggressive lanes like this, if they lose mid-control, they're in trouble, but if they lose out on these two players, it's even worse. Keep in mind, Scream, ult is up. Now Jet v Jet action coming out. Mixwell doing the dash, going to try and get away, try and move himself out of danger. Find a little bit of time for Ardis to come around towards the site, and he's done just that. Good pick, though, from Liquid. Finding Patitech towards middle yeah. creates a lot of rotation opportunity. It does. You can see them actually swinging back through spawn now. Zeke's still outside screen, so I'm expecting him to just play his life in this situation. G2 are only three standard. They do have the Hunter's left. Fury and the Blade Storm on Mixwell. Should they choose to invest here, Liquid have the Viper's Pit and the Lockdown, actually. You should run. If it becomes necessary. There you go. Lockdown will get invested here. Whether or not Ardis will try and Don't counter this with the Hunter's out. Fury. Actually, yeah, Liquid gonna send it. Everything getting popped here. Four commit. Yeah, big commitment for this one. Oh, I was lucky on that spam then. If that broken wall, that was pretty in line with the plant, but already Mixwell finds a way back through that screen now dead, but there's the Viper ultimate. Keeping the field completely absconded from vision. Hard to see through, and Zeke looking for anyone above it, around it, but no, it's gonna be the Viper on the side. That is huge. That now opens up for this retake to find positioning. Zeke can try and make the way through. Not gonna happen that time. Gives a hanging bit of meat at that point. Cryptic's no problem there. Time begins to dwindle and mix well. You can see these post plants, they're tricky. If I pulls up, potentially more time, but wants to get on the spike itself. Watches it for a second, takes the fight, loses it out, and Cryptic's is there. Gord, look at this positioning. Soulcast can be a real nuisance now. Behind enemy lines, but Mixwell is not going to miss some of these. Already the rest comes in. Paditek to save the day and G2 stabilize. They find themselves in a 4v3 retake now. Drone going through just to clear out sight. That's going to give the information up. And Pat actually going to get Pit back up on his feet. The tag comes through. It's going to give information. <laughs> actually, Pit's utility going straight over the wall outside there. So Liquid got to hold down there. They're kind of boxed into a corner here. So these two, if they play the numbers effectively, nice. Ardis will find two. Link responds on to Zeke now. The last man will fall. Mixwell with his third on the round. And one of the things I like now... Planted. Spike will go down, but again, Zeke using that dismiss means they're going to be able to keep five bodies up. Liquid, no ultimates online. Let's see how they try and play this post plant. G2 have got over here quickly. It's only really Pit trailing through mid now. He's the last man to kind of join the troops. And Liquid playing this very deep. You can actually see Scream on the minimap lurking all the way back towards mid. This could be huge, actually, if he's able to get over there. Eccles, going to try and put the snake bite down onto the spike. I think actually, yeah, you can see just on the X-ray, <laughs> that's forced Pit away from it for the time being. The long one, he killed on Scream with the flick. Look at it. This is perfect play from Scream. Oh, this is great work from Liquid. Huge. The denial of the, of the defeat. Pretty solid. And Mixwell. 
Yeah, now Mixwell joining. This is going to be a harder site take than maybe they'd want. This is not meant to be as tricky as this is going to get. There we go. This becomes an issue, but Pantech gets isolated. Great work again from Solcast, keeping in mind the possibility. But Zeke now going to show his hand. Lingers around the corner as Echo's a little bit sharper than him. And we saw noted Mixwell was here earlier. He's backed away now. That's, that's an available plan coming in. Spike planted. And again, look for... Liquid to play very deep back towards this post plant setup that they have for A. Mixwell and Pip all the way back on, well, under and above rafters. Like Eccles again in this position now. Both snake bites available. It's going to make it very difficult for GT to do anything here. Apart from this, the full no defuse. Way. No way. No way. No way. As you said, the over-reliance could have been a problem there, and Mixwell read it like a book, utilizing even just one of those smokes to do work, and now Zeke's controlled the first frag to come in, and wants to double down on this. Has Mixwell by his side, so maybe feeling a little bit more confident. The angle's rough to work with, that little bit of a ramp makes it tricky, and Scream shows him exactly as to why, but Mixwell still patrolling this. Here we go! No! Scream up and over! The better you jet apparently wins this out! Well, look, we're going to get Soulcast back on his feet as well, so find themselves in a 4v3. No revive available for G2. Ardis over here now going to send some shock darts on towards default. <laughs> Recon going to give a lot of information of what's going on here. Ardis could have found that kill, maybe. Oh, he will, though, eventually. Scream. A little bit of a mistash there, and Patstech going to swing in, find one, but they do equalize the numbers a little bit. Liquid. Don't have Eccles for the post plant here, just Cryptics in his nano storm. So, interested to see if he has that set up. I can't see it on the mini map now. Whether or not Pitt has his smoke to cover that. Oh, Pat will sit Zolkas down up on belt. I'm, I'm so happy to see G2 very aware of these post plant problems yes. that were coming in. They seem very capable now. It's still tricky, it's not easy, and another diffuse is going to come through. Pitt's not going to move from that. And another defuse and another retake. And let's take a second to talk. Put it back to the wall, prepare himself what's coming his way. Four players just swung around the corner on Zeke. Did a bit of damage, but can't do more. Mixwell pops the ult, goes in for it, and Scream's ready. Up from above, Scream not gonna let that slip away. Scream dashes in, looks for all finds artists, sprays in! That's the Scream on form. You Sokka seems aware of it. I was gonna yeah. say, how's he got that completely undetected? Yeah, I think they're fine on this. They, they went for the probably... I, I don't even mind the kind of a bit more dedicated stack towards B if you know you're against pistols. It, it could work if they had maybe a sheriff or two. Mixwell the only one to find success for G2 here. Looking to see if they get the spike down, and it looks like they will. So, tick in the box for G2. They've at least got you know, a little bit of damage done. Not managed to get any rifles away just yet, but Mixwell's got himself the Spectre. No armor to play with, so a little bit squishy. And that range is not going to be complimentary to what he wants. This, however, would be. He's really doing a lot of work here, but gets overwhelmed in the end. Scream was found in the meantime, but now we're down to class 6, which... Excuse me? Excuse me, Ardis? How did you get that kill onto Link? I do not know, but... I actually kind of like the jet shotgun meta. If you can't get an op or you don't have your blades, sit on the old shotgun or just a, or just a pistol, apparently. Um, Zeke's made a bit of a meal of that one, um, which isn't ideal. That will at least free up the rotation. Here's Eccles. This is good. That's right. Nice Did he a second? I thought it was just Mixwell, but he actually got Padatek then as well. Massive oh, impact, this. and they do not expect Cryptics here. Oh. That step. Yeah, that's a, that's a gun in the back. You're not getting away from death and... Bit of a shoddy round from G2, but very nice work from Liquid. I don't know how that kill on Zeke even happened. No, I mean, it looked like uh, Scream was just all out Why baiting for Soulcast. Soulcast playing the heady angle off site, and uh, <laughs> Scream was just kind of dashing around under the alt orb. So maybe just running bait. But again, I love it. Just the aggression to kind of shut Zeke down again. Maybe just trying to send the message. Yeah, you can't lurk for free over this side of the map. We're we're on to you, on to your plan. Pitt's actually, let's get himself kind of tucked all the way left. behind Liquid here. Again, 30 seconds. I mean, unless he strings Jackson's together two quick kills, this is all but a round decided by the clock, to be honest with you. Oh, he mm. did just spot Link there. Oh, the hop up is so, yeah, no, it's just the triple P comes through, yeah. G2, unable to commit. They've moved flank either. 
I guess that's going to help mix one okay. and all. He's just bursting forward. I want to see some more of that burst potential coming in, but Solcast still stands. As do a couple of the Liquid players, three alive, all in a very similar situation, almost a switcheroo. Look at how they're playing this one back in. Cryptic's finding Artist makes a little bit of the step easier, but now down to Link in a 1v2, gets the res, going to defend it for a second. Pit is super low as well. Basically, a slight gust of wind might knock him over at this point, but the cross is being held. This is on Zeke here. No, Pit still finds his value in his way. Liquid are holding this. If he gets line of sight on one of them, no. Excellent work. They knew what was vulnerable, Liquid, and they kept it safe. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Spike will go down. Liquid now five members strong. Actually, the lockdown comes through. Is he going to be able to pop that through the box? I'm not sure. He's not going to commit to the spray. He's going to try and back up here, but three seconds left. Here comes the snake bite through. Is that landing? I think it's just off. It's just off. They can stick the diffuse. Oh, it's off by half a foot. Oh, no. Go back. Oh, whoa, whoa, this is aggressive. This is quick. I'll come back to that. Solcast needs to get ready. He's going to back him down the hatch with just a rocket in the hand. Zeke goes down for it. No trade. There it is. Mixwell swiftly gets back in, tries to keep this going. Palatech gets the res. G2 back to find form. As Liquid looking a little rough around the edges, but Link somehow lands that, fades away, <laughs> and no one's none the wiser. Yeah, it comes out to 4v4. Spike does go down. You see already Pit playing very deep. Actually, Zeke going to find a kill onto Cryptix here, and he's going to get the heal up. It's only a Spectre, but he can play close contact for the time being. Eyes on the minimap. Liquid, they've got to go quick here. They want to negate this post-plant lineup. Mixwell is cleaning them up. Off screen, but there you go, and you'll find the fourth as well. Deep Liquid is sitting as well. They're letting this happen, and now they need to play back as a collective. Five of them stand against the four of G2. Ultimate is up for Mixwell. And they're staying quite postured up on the site itself. They've not sunk back all the way. Now Mixwell finds a line of sight, commits to it. But that's not really where they're coming back in from. Scream going to be leading the way, clearing below. Not seeing anyone just yet. Time signed to dwindle while this line. Soulcast, that's a big name remove. But Echoes is there on the trade. Zeke now comes in. Mixwell trying to play the timing just right. He might get a lot of vision once he comes around this smoke. He does. That's a knife in the back. And Wait, is someone on the Oh, uh, hello, not gonna happen. Mixwell, he's just trying to save the day, and he does it for G2. Oh my. Oh, I like that setup there, and yeah. that's it. It's packing no, that's gonna find Soulcast. Yeah, and they know the screen's over here too. They, they could do some serious damage on this. Really good approach from G2. And now, Oh, just trying to find him, locate that information. He's got a good idea. That's enough of a, at least a glimpse. Hello. And now Zeke can play into that. Look how isolated Scream is. They are not letting him get away with anything this round. Link to be the one to try and save the day. What? Hello. He wins that? He adjusts well enough, but Mix while that off is still on point. And that 12th round is now looming. It's on Eccles with that judge. And already tries to make the leap. It's OT. Of course he was going to be OT. Yeah. It might be able to isolate him still. Wall goes down. Liquid aren't interested in chasing that kill just yet. That's a good shot dart, though. It's going to do a lot of damage onto Link. He's got to sit in this corner now. There he goes. He's going to get healed up now. Ard is going to find Link on the way back in. Liquid already trying to play deep, but keep your eyes on the minimap. Look at that flank coming through once again from Scream. See if they can buy the time for him to be as much of a nuisance as he was before. Ard is hopped up to the top. He's going to find one, two, three. Oh, my word. Green, last man standing, blade storm online. <laughs> Halfway there, takes down one. Oh, screen! The oh, you should have seen your faces. Tapped in under pipes here. <laughs> See how many he can get from this spot. Soulcast is going to find the first now. Zeke going to get the better nice. of screen on the way in. Soulcast again, another headshot. Can't win that one against Pit though. Time. Less than 10 seconds. Gotta go down. He goes for the fake. Uh, what are you doing? Remaining. What are you doing, Pat? Oh, it's a clutch. Uh, Defenders win. I have no idea. From that, maybe a little sound cue here or there, but Scream has been kept keeping a good check on this, and it looks like that kind of heaven side is gonna be where the hit comes in. Soulcast gets isolated, has to fall away, but the crossfire maintains, and Cryptix is the one to greet them with a smile. Two big kills, and the trade eventually comes in for Mixwell, but does he push this? That's very dangerous. So the timing could be just right. Gets the swing on towards defensive side, and he gets Eccles down. Huge now territory garnered, and he swings back. 
through. Palitek can't convert it, but Mitch well can. This man's going off, but Solcast is the last line of defense over towards it, leaving it just in the hands of Pitt, who gets a bullet to the side of the brain. And Liquid, you said it, that pistol round conversion is looking likely here as well. They are looking good to start with. Taking his utility away, at least his turret now. He'd... Three members of Liquid committed over towards A, and the spike actually getting planted right now over towards B site. So... Big win there for Mixwell, takes down Eccles. Cryptic's good for the trade, but G2 are going to go hunting now. The deeper they push, the more time it gives them to run down the clock. And they have to work as a pack almost, just kind of roving the fields of the map because they are only on pistols. Oh, no. And you can see as to why it's so dangerous. Cryptic's forced into the fight, and Solcast has crept his way so quietly. He went through that B main entrance, and now he's cleared out that defensive side approach. Zeke's now dead, leaving in just one player's hands. Paditek in pressure scenarios. No Classic, and that's it. It's only... Wait, if he gets this just right, the timing... Oh, 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 it's huge work from Paditek. Other than use for rotation here on defense. All right, show me the moves, Ardis. Wow, not slowing down at all. Rinse and repeat towards A. That poor old Omen's going to be sweating bullets here. Yeah, it says... Mm, not gonna go well for me, is it? No, Link, it's not. <laughs> Overwhelmed, swarmed, but Zeke even finding Eccles. This is not looking good unless Scream can dig deep again. The man's already proven how on point he is today. They can't capitalize on this just yet. Spike is still down in the three place. Peak is gonna at least keep it safe. A two for one trade out, not enough to keep Liquid looking likely in this round as just Crypt is, is left alive. Now, that sight take is very, very hard to deal with. I mean, it's so all encompassing. I don't know how Liquid are going to plan to come back into it, but they've got to find a way to handle it. Because that's been a couple of rounds now that G2 have shown that that is something they have in the kind of, I guess, strap book. Yeah. They can go to it, and it, it's hard to at least be a potential idea of where they're going. Damage is enough. They can re-rotate off the back of this, and they can have a favorable fight on the site if they're quick enough about it. But Link gets ahead of himself. He wanted to try and be the difference maker, and I don't blame him. And you can see the ball coming in. Liquid want this right now, and they're going to get it right now. Scream and Soulcast clearing up, and G2 are a little further off than they'd like. Eccles, great wow. intuition to look towards the entrance on that play back around from the rotation. some mid-presence. They're trying to bait out this rotation here. Zeke already looking towards... Link at the end of Garage. And Liquid not really biting again. You can see Eccles and Solcast still very present over towards B-side. Link thought he was maybe going to let the first one pass. He's good for a second though. Zeke finally trades, but the kills actually come through for G2's favor. Yeah, that trade back in, that explosive element between Zeke and Patitech looked great. Using the TP to get across for safety. Scream going to be spotted by the jump peak there over by the wall, but timing's a factor. Look at the Cypher lurking through heaven. It's going to be hit at the right time. Should get a clean kill, and he does. And they now know the final player would be Scream. That jet was spotted by the Sage. So they know a really good idea where it is. Zeke just holds the angle. He's got to find the right timing on this. The wall goes up, so he's instantly paranoid about B main, but it's the players in mid that are the problem. Link now going to be tasked with keeping these rotations uh, pretty much locked down. Oh, the movement coming in. Mixwell making him have to just swing. And miss. But Solcast, he doesn't miss. Great work from him to find three Your kills. Quick over. res comes out as well. Zeke doesn't want to be alone in this. Back to a 2v2 now. Now, there are ultimates online for Liquid. If they want to invest them here, they definitely can. Spike in the hands of Mixwell can be planted now towards us. I think that's somewhat default on site. And yeah, Link's going in on this now. No one player's preoccupied with the spike, but... Oh, not enough damage done. And Zeke holding that cross like a champion. Eccles needs this fight and he needs it clean. And all oh, the time could be awful on this. He tries to isolate and Mixwell has absolute... King roll for G2. Okay. Now, if Liquid get this, it's a decent half. It's not the best, but Scream might just be Soulcast in support. And it was just a bloodbath through the mailroom. <laughs> Catch that one, Zeke. Soulcast sends it, signed, sealed, and delivered. And finally, G2 gets with Scream, going to lead the way forward. Playing in a very similar fashion. That's brilliant work to somehow find Paditek. Looked like his vision had been removed away from him, but now Ling needs to deal with the rest. These flashes are so good. They are trying to take these fights completely blind and scream the positioning. Mixwell reads it. It's yet to be pit to connect the shot, but you saw the consideration then. And now Spike to be planted. This retake's looking deadly. Mixwell just locked them in on the site itself. So precise with this frenzy. One now, they didn't expect remaining. this many players to be here, but Pitt doing well on the pistol, oh. leaving it all in the hands of Cryptics. Uh, and those okay. hands get put in binds. Pitt very well played. Yeah, all three members. Kind previous setup, or this previous set that they played, but again, look at the speed and Soulcast is just running it through. That's interesting. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm not, not sold by it. Mid play looks like a throwaway round right now. Zeke making light work of anyone coming his way. This isn't particularly pretty by, by Liquid and neither was that by Mixwell. So I guess, you know, there's that. Yes, very strange. Link actually on that late lurk again. He's all the way back in spawn. Three of them just lost vision. And now Artis just found Soulcast. I do not like this Pokemon one bit. This really no. makes me nervous. And you can see it falling to pieces. It's not good enough. G2. Happy with that one. I mean, last time I said it was only really screened to explore it over towards the defensive spawn. This position. Let's see whether or not the screen can <laughs> find the first Ardis. The second peak comes through. 37 HP for him now, so he's got to be careful. No heal available for him. Yeah, Ardis hasn't been over here super early, so they've got to know some big rotations have already come in. This was normally the Omen Jet sort of positioning, and already Soulcast just leans into that. Does take down Mixwell, looks for the follow-up, can't find it. That's Zeke, though. Omen is still unnoticed. Yeah. This position's going to be big. Yeah, gets one, gets two. Might nice work from Paditek. It looked really good for Liquid last time around. Ardis. Oh, this is sneaky work. Oh, oh it's all been noted. <laughs> Unfortunate timing for him. I like the idea. But Soulcast keeps it in check. Patatek, well and truly behind enemy lines. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's going to get out of this. They've got to have heard that goal, so they've got to be cognizant of the chance of it. But Patatek going to make good work. Of the oh, this guy's sharp today. And the aim's looking good. But there's the trade out, so this is looking still pretty effective. But the two players in quite yeah. curious positions here for the defensive side of G2. As I say, now Liquid know they can go quickly wherever they go. Good. If Pit is there, it's a 3v1. You can see they're just going to swarm onto B site. Eccles already looking back to shut off the angle from Patatek, but Pit, a uh, bit of a weird plant spot there. Going to find Link. And now it's just Patatek, the last man standing. <laughs> Look at the HP on the side of his players. It's not ideal. And here we go oh. in the site. He's got a chance on this. He's isolated. No one. He needs one more. Oh. Got it. God damn, Patatek. All the way to close it down. G2 looking in fine form here. We questioned the map pick. It definitely Clutch. left a bit of doubt. They still commit. Yeah, I want to see Sky's potential. I don't know how much utility they've got left on Sky. A decent amount to play with still. Flash is still ready to go as well. It's going to be Zeke to get the pressure building through Garage. And now position noted falls away from it. They are being very mobile here. But they still need to find their oh, placement in pick. Pick, pick, pick. You need to leave. You love these shots. Zeke came in and bailed him out. Awkward angle, sure, but had to do better in Palatech. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Pops off the top. Smoke goes down. The liquid gonna look to explode out. It's actually the paranoia not gonna hit the sky flash neither. Mixwell picks up two. Yeah, Mixwell's so aware of where uh, he can go to. This is brilliantly done. G2 well aware that little And swing from G2, it's uh <laughs> this is gonna be a bloodbath should Liquid decide to swing out. They do indeed. The nade is good. Soulcast finds the first actually, but look well, at that. Three kills for G2. Patatek's really... With Zeke. They need to get this kill. <laughs> Easier said than done, isn't it, really, as well? Link, though. Gonna find Mixwell. Securing a little on the way. The timing gonna be everything now. That clock's starting to tick pretty swiftly. Pit not finding too many free opportunities. The only thing you saw was Scream with those knives out, which honestly doesn't seem that enticing, but Zeke is there to at least get things building the right way, but a quick answer from Quick ticks to stop anything getting out of hand and yeah Zeke getting nothing nicely held in the end by Liquid to maintain that post down so maybe just a slight misread there. The Mixwell's position going to be given up though now and Hunter's Fury gets invested I think it actually did get that initial tag onto Soulcast but no follow-up with it. It's all a fake though. Yeah. It's worked super well as well. G2 trying to put down every bit of utility to deny the plant, but it's down regardless. The two players that were pestering towards A were all to take the attention away from B, but now the diffuse is going to start working towards it. You have Mixwell touching on towards that, and you've got Ardis there trying to be a body blocker, just be the front man, and the man is landing shots like no other. A quick little trade out eventually brings us back through. You have the Killjoy coming in as well. This is looking rough by all accounts, and Liquid are making them more. Oh, Soulcast! The flank could not have been any better timed. And now the 1v1, but Mixwell. No, Mixwell, no. Mixwell, you do not, you do not do that to Soulcast. Seem to be able to stand the test of time. Oh, that is Look such that. good work. Oh my God. This aggression, Team Liquid you are completely not, posturing to punish that. aggression from G2. And now you can see Mixwell desperately wants to kind of levy that, try and get back into it, but it's not being allowed. 
And this is really nice work with Sky, just kind of keeping some sort of control here, denies the information off the back. And that is exactly what G2 would want with this. Ardis is now feeling like he's on an island. All of these players are so alone here for G2. We have to call upon some of that brilliance individually. Zeke, excuse me, is the one on the island here. Tell a lie. He's feeling like he's a mile away from people. Maybe call for Mixwell soon enough and say, hey, we'll just retake. I can hear utility. Help me the hell out. If he gets more than one here, very well played. Oh, the adjustment! Zeke! The guy's got aim and then some Mixwell Last dives in as standing. well. And they have individually bailed themselves out of so much danger. And now let's see how he plays this one out. A 1v1 Echoes. Spike now planted. Ultimate is online. He's still got Util to play with the pit. He's just walking it. And that's all it apparently takes. Pit didn't think. With the shock dart and the Hunter's Fury on the default. First one comes through. That's going to actually destroy the Nano Swarm. So he doesn't invest the Hunter's Fury just yet. Oh, there you go. Coming out now. Any damage to come from it? See a touch of damage on Sage, but I don't even know if that was the actual case. And oh my word, Scream is just playing like target practice here. Finally gets put to bed by Pit looking through from heaven. Tries to find the next frag, but nothing presenting just yet. Killjoy does still have utility left in this. So once they crest around the site or that smoke depletes, there is going to be another level of threat, which will be dealt with. But again, look who's about to peek around. Flash comes out. So gas. Oh, the denial, the backhand. Cryptic's 11 HP for the time. It's dwindling, and there's only one way to make this play happen, and Cryptix is right there! Great work from Cryptix in the post-plant hall. Gonna push all the way through, give them all the information they need, which is nobody's holding close, nobody on site right now. Mixwell swings through. Let's see, finds that kill the scream surprisingly enough, and does get the second onto Eccles as well, so site control will go over to G2. Liquid find themselves in a 3v4 retake now. Patatech looking for something through Garage. Zeke oh, no. up close. This is this is sharp oh, work for Cryptics and post plants, okay. man. We've seen this. Oh, they check it. They actually checked it. That's really good work to at least find the information. And both players are now low. You can see Patatech, depending on this, tries to work through. Wait, is he? Oh, okay, speed. halfway. Speed. Halfway. And now they know the spike is not planted for Patatech. He has to check on this thoroughly now. Swinging out wide. Doesn't see him swinging on the spike. He gets the defuse again. Cryptics is go through. Not sure if it quite achieved what he wanted, but it will at least keep them at bay for now. The wall's good, but it does get dismantled quickly. Oh, the timing a little unfortunate there. Yeah, unlucky there. They're still holding the line right now. Again, taking these fights. The slow all comes through. Soulcat's actually going to draw first blood here. And he gets the second as well. Oh, just shut down. How did he get away with that? I guess they redefined the lines of the battlefield right now. Playing from the side itself, not letting them get any of these closer fights that G2 are hoping for. And for now, this is looking pretty decent. I mean, you've still got Zeke up, who's been, you know, a bit of a game changer here. And you can see them wanting to push Zeke now as those smokes are still in place. The vision's limited. Soulcast has gone three here. Off the back of that team flash that kind of kept us a little bit in the dark. He's really come online using that Spectre so well. 50 HP and Patatech now strides forward. What does he do with this? He does have the spike. He's got a bit of mobility still. And as you can see, looking to try and change things up here. Faking them out, making them a little paranoid left. about it. Time's dwindling, nine seconds, they've got to make the play. And Soulcast finally goes down, Pit finds Eccles, that's not good. Suddenly there's a Last problem, Link standing. is there. Now the 1v1, the time has Ooh, left them. I Pit can do nothing but watch. Force their way into this. They do have the lockdown if they want to try and invest it here for the retake. No Hunter's Fury on the side of G2, so they are going to have to back out of this one. Mixwell staying close enough, just in case. The smoke comes through, nobody on the defuse just yet, but Eccles, look at him, he's on a big flank here with the paranoia. He's going to buy a lot of time for his team on site. He is, but Zeke's still here, and Zeke is still dangerous, but Scream. Maybe the bigger beast at this point, but the spike is down, and you can see the amount of attention being drawn. And I thought maybe the Clutch Master could do it again, but it's Scream. Called upon in a 1v2, time is taken away, and Pit was always the last line of defense. You're not going to get away from that. Nice play from... They give too much away too easily. It looks like Zeke's going to invest the ultimate. Time to go. You've got to get... Oh, nice up and over. Zeke's not going to be held down, but... So yes, he got him instead. And now there's problems aplenty. Link is still large and in charge. And Mixwell's dead and gone. They have held once again. It must be nice to not even need Scream to do this because you're actually holding that site itself. He keeps things interesting. Now, this should be a G2 round considering the purchase. Now, yeah, Artis and Z are going to make that look very likely. Scream did get the rifle. He has got a Phantom. And whether or not they check on this, does he wait? Oh. He did this last time. This could be huge. Last time it didn't Hi. work out. This time it might be working. One player 
two player, the third, oh, it just evades him, but Scream almost did him dirty, but now there's still a chance, it's slim though, G2 still has such better weaponry and cryptics, it's, um, gets onto sight, so Spike will go down here, and again, post plant, on B, very difficult, we know Liquid have to move quickly here and retake mid. Yeah, that mid control is starting to build as well. Scream's kind of locked off from this. Not necessarily a one-way, but a very tricky smoke to play in towards against. And it looks like Mixwell will be his kind of number to try and deal with. And it's not an easy one either. Mixwell going to keep control of this. But considering window, maybe these steps will be heard. And the flash comes in. He's really blind. Wait, what? Scream, the burst is perfect. And now the Seekers, he's chasing it down. He knows where Artis will be. He waits and he punishes. Can? Yeah, there we go. This is going to clear out the side at least. Flush him out. Got 10 seconds to evacuate the site, basically. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you love to see it. Oh, this, he's been doing his homework. Let's go. And now Palatech waiting for the moment. Already, oh, this, watching that cross. As yeah. This makes me so nervous. I guess he's got his ult to switch to. And okay, maybe he doesn't need it. Quickly switches out to the ult, which I guess is just a one-shot rifle at this point. The spike is going to be planted anyway. Quick little spam of the... Shell's coming out. Soulcast very cautiously clearing, and he's not far from a player either. You do have Pit on the other side here. And that presence should at least turn attention away from the kind of back lines of middle. Pit is now cut off from this, but time is of the essence. But even Soulcast is showing that presence. It keeps Pit. He has to watch that flank now. He has to be aware of that, which means he can't back up mid. And actually, Zeke and Mixwell playing very deep on site here. Liquid coming all the way through. Link comes through. He's actually going to pull Zeke, making use of that position, but Soulcast good for the trade standing. now, and a second, oh! and a third! It's just bad attack. And he's, he's, he's fucked his lines a little, but he's doing his best he can, but the defuse! Oh! I cannot believe it! Jaren going to come through, clear all the way up towards Mams. Maybe just caught sight of Echoes there. He actually did get the tag onto Echoes. The smoke has come through, and it's a, it's a full-on five-man push here. They're going to sweep through Mams. First kill goes through, second one easy as you like, and now just waiting out the spike. They don't want to give away anything on this round to Liquid. Soulcast going to swing through, actually. That's the headshot onto Ardis as well. Scream, last man up. Maybe just going to look to do some damage to the G2 economy here, but that camera and the trap wire are going to make it very difficult for him to get anything mm. done here. Yeah, I think he seems very aware that... <laughs> there we go. There it is. Yeah, all suddenly becomes almost impossible at this point. And again, a kill... Uh, I, I, I'd have liked to see them maybe get another kill if they could. Just with those pistols. Didn't really come through. You saw Soulcast making a, a damn good attempt of it, but didn't really land. And no, well handled by G2. Can. Patatek is going to be tasked with getting that spike down, and it looks like he's achieved his job at least. And again, a lot of... A lot of post plant aggression coming through here from G2. They're eager to take control, not allow Liquid to set up in Elbow. I don't know where you're going to get sent through and the Sky Flash, but... Actually, yeah, kill comes off the back of it, but Pip and Zeke will combine the reload. Unfortunately, Soulcast finds that one. The Molly's not actually on here, so... G2 can't rely too heavily on that. Pip will find another kill, though. Didn't expect him close by, Pat. Of presence on the side of Liquid. Hunter Fury actually popped a little prematurely, but he actually does find the tag, but no kill. Patatek will find Link at the end, though, traded out. Yeah, the, the ult kind of forced them into at least the eyes of Patatek for there, and now you can see the response of the back. Soulcast is in a little spot of bother here, has to kind of evade for now, try and sit on the very verge of that smoke if he can, see if he can spot anyone crossing through. For now, he still holds position. Pit's still a mile away, he's going to be doing his job, just lurking around, making sure there is no flank buying time for this. And also, if they hit that TP, he can now become very relevant to the matter. Now, this has still got Killjoy on the other side, so they have a lot of utility, and my word, that spam could not have been better time. Through the smoke it goes, there's the ultimate, say goodnight, Eccles. You can't do much about it, Zeke's going to just brute force open the site. Now, Cryptics has been pretty clutch for these guys, but this is a very unfavorable scenario. Beautiful off-angle to catch the cross from Ardis. And it looks like there's a little bit of fight left in Liquid, but they have to be able to hold the rest of this. Here comes the ultimate. Cryptic's forced to fight and forced to die. Zeke waits with open arms on the other side, leaving Soulcast. This flank could be big, and now it gets scary. This is where it gets dangerous for G2. They're in a bit of a spot of bother. Palatek does get the spike down, and he looks ready for that push to come in, but Soulcast bides his time, maybe allowing a second or two for Scream to look for any possibilities. Yeah, with Scream coming through pipes here, they're going to know Patatek didn't cross back over towards Showers. And Zeke, he's just got to play his life. He's down to about 20 HP. Soulcast now picking that one out. 
The pack lands a shot. Unfortunately, scream. Mm, 22 Great HP, timing. yeah. They Dwindling back through they go. They are running rings around them. And you're right. Soulcast, next line of defense, catching him on the flash tees at least one, but now he needs to land the shots. They've dinged him up, they've forced him away. Yep, and that spike will go down. The Nano Swarm not actually denying it, and Pip will find Link actually. So that's a huge kill. Soulcast down to 50 HP. Cryptics, he's taking a little tag, but this has allowed G2 actually the time to set up effectively here. The plant is for long, so Liquid have to deal with this. Pit showing his hand in Hooker is actually going to draw Soulcast to clear it, but the double stacks elsewhere. Oh, this is excellent play from G2. They can only they can allow Zeke to be the only one to face, and they have no idea of the other player still. Soulcast is a good idea, and yeah, okay, here we go. Taps it. There go the Seekers, but Pit should play this to perfection. Timing is going to be a factor. He's got to have seen him now. He knows. Oh, this is rough from Soulcast. Even with the kill, he won't have the time. Very well played by Pit to buy the perfect amount of time defending that spike. And even with Scream getting two of them. And it's something that did worry us is the depth of how good Liquid are going to be across the board. We don't know their depth yet. Whereas I feel like G2 already had kind of a decent, decent map pool. And now we're going to see at least a playoff. The back of this Scream now set it to success. Soulcast with Soul both. Cast to find both of them in the end. Now Zeke going to try and make a quick play. There's that flash with the back. He turns well enough and the flash didn't really find him regardless. A little Die. underhand paint shell, but Artis quickly on the task. And Artis is so sharp again. Scream though, still going to continue here. Pick up where Soulcast left off and hold the cross. And Pit now, he's got to come away from this lurking position. Try and back Artis up a little bit. See, Echo's actually trailing him through market. And Cryptix right now, he, he can just play, he can commit to this. He can just sit here. As I say that, actually, he's going to come over expecting the hit onto B, and rightfully so. The spike about to go down now. Echo's got to be careful with the sound cues here, because Pit, deep enough in Hooker that he probably heard those steps. Your TP available. There's a little paranoia as well. Yeah, he's got a lot in his kit to be able to make a play with this. He has to get rid of that player towards Hooker, and I think he's seen them. That's Pit there, yeah, no Big chance kill. for Pit. Nice work, that opens up the avenue of approach, but Artis still large and in charge. Three to his name, he needs more. He's getting more, and now a 1v1! Oh! Oh! The reloads out of the bullets needed. Been prepared. Was there a flash there? I didn't... I don't even know if the flash came through. I didn't hear it, but I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, well, this is where it gets big. interesting. Uh, at least one down. That's mixed well gone. Zeke's looking for one back on the other side. Flash comes in, but he's just going to predict it so well. There. Zeke finding avenues of approaching, cracking his B-side open again. Link is cornered. He's got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. He has to just fight, and he eventually falls to pit. And you can see Echols trying to tuck himself in on the site while everyone's so busy elsewhere. And he's found the timing pretty well, actually. Does the TP come through? We've got two players in elbow here, They're so they can cut off it. anybody that tries to rotate back to A from Team Liquid. Cryptic still over there with his utility. Eccles now. Oh my god, has he got the timing on the camera? He didn't. Zeke was covering him. That's huge. Huge team play there from G2 to cover the opportunity for Pit to get inside his camera. The recon. Ooh, it just misses Cryptic. Planted. This is difficult here. 1v3. Ardis very low. He's going to be the one to take first contact and finds the headshot. Out of charges. Really nice. Ardis back on site with them. Yeah, this angle plays quite nicely to avoid those sky flashes coming in, but he's going to swing wide on it. That's not bad, but a one for one trade. There's more here, though. There's going to be Padatech, who's been a beast to deal with. Spike's now down in a terrible scenario. Going to be hard to recover and hard oh. to get, but Scream. Okay, somehow bailing them out of this. And now, where is that final two players for the opposition? We've got Mixwell in this as well. <laughs> Hello? Mixwell! And man, and now Link got Pit there behind him. He's got players left, right, and center. He just needs some support on this one. Now Mixwell, maybe he doesn't. Well, maybe it's all just Mixwell again. Two kills to bail him out of dodge, but Soulcast up and over he goes. He's having a performance himself, but Scream, he wants to secure this for his side. He wants to move forward, but just pass each other like oh, chips in the night. Oh my God, this is Ooh. awful timing. And now Cryptic's called upon to clutch it out, and he oh, can't do it. No. The t An all-out sight hit or finding a kill. I don't want to see them let the clock run away from them here, because look at the rotation coming through from Ardis already. There's three men oh, on a site. Oh, Zeke's position. Oh, oh, my. Aim is so good. That snap was obscene. He just drilled back towards Cryptix, and now it's going to be Soulcast to try and deny G2 getting to 12 
in a 1v3 and already artist. Yeah, he's not let, letting that happen for us. Live. Others now just one away from their ultimate. Mixwell gonna play close with the judge. He finds the first quickly he's traded okay. out, but it's not a good upgrade in terms of the weapon for Liquid finding that kill. No, he doesn't quite have that ranged element that they'd be looking for. Soulcast bailing them out, at least towards Zeke this time, and Pit destroyed. playing quietly towards the corner. They're gonna be aware that someone could be there, but the timing's everything. Tries to go for a quick spam, but it's hardest to probably deny the plant more than anything. And there's Patatek coming into this. Link's gone down. It's looking pretty dire, but actually a trade out. That's big, but Artis again. This guy, when G2 needed, he is right there. And now Soulcast left in the 1v2. It's fallen to pieces Defenders and 13 to 3 is a shadow of Liquid's form. Yeah, just some bits and pieces thrown into the mix. And speaking of mix, Mixwell leading straight in towards B. Powerful play. Straight posture for a retake though, Liquid. They're not going to try and fight this one. Yeah, that was a little strange there. They both swung on the Aldra and they saw that nobody was coming up to follow up peak on that. And actually, look at this re-aggression towards Brilliant. mid, as I say that. They shut down that lurk from Ardis. They knew the Aldra came through A main. Everybody swinging back towards mid. Soulcast now got to land some of these shots. He finds one. Mixwell good for the trade, though. But Liquid now 4v3. Man advantage in the retake. Yeah, they're working this, but they still need to get steps on towards the site, and that's a problem. Mixwell's winning out his fights. That's opened up an avenue that he can sit towards, catch a new crossfire if he needs to, but he just fades away into the smoke. He's on 11 HP, but he's still a threat. He's still a problem. The cross comes in. They've made it through, but where are those shots? It's Zeke on the site. 100 HP, sitting pretty. A bit of util thrown in. They're trying to work this time now. Dwindling. Zeke still sharp as ever. Distracted, sure, but he's still fighting the good fight. But it's all down to Mixwell. Link. And Eccles, the time is so close on this. He's got it. Easy. Easy. By even getting to this point, trying to make a statement, and he might just be doing that. Again, though, Ardis the only one that's able to stay away from sight. And you know how difficult it is. Ardis just has to buy time for his teammates here. Looks like he's going to get hard cleared by the flash, and it's perfect. Eccles and Link combined for a killer piece here. Zeke now. Got to hold down the fort with Pit on sight. Yeah. Oh, pretty. Pit play his turn. Yeah, outdone Liquid pulling off the retakes really nice. now. Here we go. For a live defuse going to come in. Not quite as close as the last round. Good work overall for Liquid. Keeping composed. Flash out. Flash is still got to do it. There you go. Pass. Yeah. Yeah. This is looking pretty decent. Soulcast is being such a nuisance. He's staying alive here. Artist, though, did play in the link. So Soulcast is feeling standing. the pressure. And G2 are going to apply further. Eccles, good attempt. But Mixwell has come up to deny it. Neither does Link, of course. And now the retake, a 3v3 post plant. Yeah, Link all three of them away. on site. Yeah, tucked in. This is It's a tricky crossfire to hold. You can definitely get caught off. And I would have late game utility invested here. Scream looking for the potential first, but stepping lightly as he goes. There you go. Going to use his own smoke to maybe create a pathway forward at this point. You can see like Scream that. now struggling. One enemy remaining. And it's Soulcast and Link doing great work. There's still one left, though. Pit's back here still. Yeah, and they've cleared through B main, so they should have a really good idea of exactly where he is. Scream drops down, but Pit actually going to get the better of him, but the defuse comes through. We'll find one consolation kill, but Link trades. Any... Don't give away the game yet, but that Aldrone's going to force his hand. He can't really do much other than this now. <laughs> yeah, nicely done by G2. Oh, mix well, mix well. Three huge kills, cracks it open. There's no threats anymore. He's eliminated them. Scream, sure in the back lines, plucks him out of the air, but Spike planted. by this point, it's a 4v2. Spike now planted, Liquid backs to the wall in this one. Yep, again, maybe just look to damage the economy, upgrade some of these weapons, save it out. We have to wait and see. Scream, still Sheriff in hand. Oh, guys, from spam through the smoke, but ah, this there to back up his teammate when needed. Soulcast will fall, Paranoia comes through. Scream slips away, but it's just a matter of time here. If they give him another kill, which they don't. Artist and worry in the minds of Liquid. Is this the round G2 go all out? They just, and they, you know, just completely push through B main. God, this time G2. around, it's, yeah. I mean, you can do as you want. You can try as you want, but they're playing as a pack here. G2 are not taking any chances. They are playing this to perfection. And Link left in dire straits. He can try and make some exits happen, but no guns will be recovered for him. That's valiant, if anything. And yeah, done for. Oh, Mixwell, he's popped it. Here we go. Yeah. There are those ultimates coming in your bang on with this. But he's in danger. Oh my word, Cryptics just set down the ultimate trap. He didn't make it out of the maze. And you can see Scream tucked in the corner. This is such great work from Liquid, seemingly reading 
the intentions that G2 wanted to have. And they got stopped in their tracks. Great work from the Killjoy, just instantly locking it down. It's that small adjustment. Just having Killjoy in position to stop a rush like that, you can see. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think Link just looking back just to make sure there's no threat of plays like that coming from G2, but... Which has worked well, but now it's going to be that one player tucked to the back of the site, isolated in trouble. Link's bailed him out, though. Mixwell's gone down, and now Echols trying to buy time. Flash after flash after flash. Spots another. That's Rainer on the other side. Zeke looking worse for wear, but now he gets support from Palutech. In we go, Link. Oh, a little ahead of the curve there, trying to make a play on his own. Doesn't go so well. What can Cryptics do about this one? And initially, actually, with all that resistance by Liquid, G2 hold the line. Three members, decent HP. Zeke very low, but we do know he can heal up after a kill. Oh, the recon doesn't tag screen. They don't know that he's managed to get this close just yet. He jumps up, pit finds the headshot. Attack will respond again on the Soulcast Cryptics now. No lot. The trap wire will give the information up, but nobody actually holding on to B main other than pit for market. Hit though. Let's at least get one for his troubles, gets the information, but instantly smoke goes in the way. Mixwell can't quite get in. Yes, he can. Apparently, the frenzy just powers those bullets through. Scream backs away instantaneously, trying to support the squad. All players right now, at least for G2, kind of playing back in through that connector in middle. Solcast sees another. Spike is down, but they're all at the back of the site here. No flex points for them. This retake is going to be rough, but it could be very doable. Let's see if this recon is as good as the other was at the end of that first half. Instantly taken down, but they've got some idea. But it's Cryptics to find Ardis. It's still going. Palatech still looking for a chance. He's not giving it. He has to step in. Great prediction on the Soulcast swing. And now Zeke works his way forward. Scream denies. And now Palatech left in such a hard spot. A 1v2 and Scream's made it almost impossible. Yeah, Palatech knows it. He's trying to do everything he can. And Liquid says no. Friend to work forward with clears the corner over by Wine, but now there's the problem. Mixwell's there, and here we go. Dashes in Zeke. Nice adjustment from him, looking for more. more Mixwell's in support as well. This is a very solid hold thus far. Oh, yeah, as you say that, actually, Liquid mm -hmm. respond with two kills of their own. Patek up here behind the smoke. Unfortunately, Scream couldn't get anything done with that Blade Storm, but Zeke with a really nice turn. <laughs> a little bit of a. Uh... Killjoy set up there from hell. That's the oh, that's geeky. The nano swarm that cuts off the heaven push, as you can see. Two members under hell though, and then the one oh, behind Jen. One. Another one actually pops through. It gets him very low. It's literally like a blender. They've both been taken just that little bit lower. Pit obviously suffering more than Ardis did, but there's the playback in. The better rifle is coming into effect. Link still down here. He gets one. Oh my god. He gets two. He needs more, and he gets denied it. Hey. Right, the screen's getting a little, little fruity too here. Up and over, has a peek, but they're going quite quick on this one. They're going to happily fight that early kind of check from G2, which is going to be hit, kind of tucked away himself, but I'm surprised he's still able to get away with this sort of play. Ardis is there in support, trying to control the play coming across, but it's Mixwell coming in. There's Ardis finally. And on the other side of things, one Liquid looking remaining. rough in this one, down to just one, and they are super low HP. This is going to force them back, though, again. The Rolling Thunder sent up to follow Zeke. Is his position noted? Oh, it is spammed. indeed, he's going to get spammed out there, but actually Zeke finds the kill there, he's going to use the dismiss to get away, Soulcast finds it. The G2 now, 3v4 on the retake, Liquid have the Hunter's Fury, you can already see on the minimap, they're looking to play that all the way back in main pit, actually finds Echols through the ground, that now the Swarm once again just cutting off any push through. <laughs> it's toxic. This just, it just makes me smile. Look, I'm glad I'm just not an admin. It makes me happy, but Mixwell trying to make things happier for the G2 fans, trying to make a play come back in on this one, but just forcing the fight with Soulcast was a great idea. Had to take already on the side, fighting towards Killjoy, loses out. Cryptics, though, it's a big tall task, and he's maybe the big man to do it. 35 HP. He's playing this time to perfection. He's just got to bide his time. Mixwell might have been out of it. He didn't get it no halfway. Cuts. Great work on Cryptics there. Let's see what they can maybe achieve with this. Liquid's still looking for options here, and Mixwell's not allowing any. There's a gap in the smoke. Mixwell actually finds the second as well. It's heartbreaking there. Mixwell comes out, finds the third. Zeke will find another. Mixwell, a 4K on that one. The, the gap in mid. The G2 definitely readjusting here. Okay. 
I can't imagine a better player to be launched than she taking 12 here. He's got the angle, he's got the ult, and now he's got so many more players coming his way. Oh, dashes the knife through, doesn't get what he wants. And the Kiltra is going to commit to this. They want this one done. They want Mixwell out of there. They need that spike to be going down pretty soon. Not trying to ignore the turret and he's going to do just that. 23 seconds. Link's already there though. A horrible surprise awaits. And now they try and make the cross. Oh, this spams in. Sprays away. Hoping for the best. But now a 3v3. And now the timing. 10 seconds. Zeke's around the back. He's found one. We need to see that spike going down. It's in. And now a 3v2 post plant. This is it. Link tucked in away, trying to make the best he can, denying Ardis that first step in the right direction. The crossfire is set, but he spammed out. 91 HP is still okay, though. You can see on the other side, Cryptix tries to stay in this one, and you can see just that net slowly closing in. 38 HP, he can't do any more. Ardis knew all so well, and that's going to be 12 on the board. G2, a punishing way to take it there. And now there's just one more round between them and the victory of ammo to oh, clear Put. link out of there yeah look at it it's mixwell solo anchoring a it's a great call by g2 a really great call now they know that zeke's here this is going to be a dangerous side to no hit they need scream to deliver and he can't zeke's there and now problems are plenty oh this takes down two and liquid are down to dire straits two seconds players left. remain soulcast bails them out with a quick kill the 3v2 Liquid down to 24 seconds, still two players on the site. Zeke's still there, Pit's still there. Link tries to work forward, he hasn't seen it. The off angle, oh my god, a miss from Zeke! But wait, do they check for Pit? Oh my god, Pit, 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 Pit. he gets one, he gets the second! Defenders my, 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 G2, that was close.